but I had the pleasure of serving this last year as an executive in residence here at the, Car at the Center for Integrative Leadership. And when I was invited to get involved with the center, I wasn't sure uh, what I could do that would be meaningful to the mission of the center. Uh, as, as mentioned, I was uh, a member of the uh, a local Rotary Club. I was uh, president of the Rotary Club of Edina one year ago. And Rotary has been a significant part of uh, my life. And uh, I've seen the tremendous work that Rotary has done in our community, not only locally, but around the world. And Rotarians are all aware of our signature project, which is a global effort to eradicate polio. And I thought that this effort was uh, uh, a perfect example of integrative leadership, the, the creation of public private partnerships and working across the many sectors of society on an issue that serves the common good. The Global Polio Eradication Initiative is in fact the single largest internationally coordinated public health project the world has ever known and the original vision for this was that of Rotary. When I began to write, uh, when I began my work to write a case study about integrative leadership aspects of Rotary's efforts on polio, I really had no idea what I was going to find. President Kennedy set a vision to put a man on the moon by the end of the 1960s, a goal that seemed fantastic at the time, and it was accomplished to the amazement of everyone. In 1985, Rotary International announced its vision to eradicate polio from the face of the earth, an audacious goal in its own right. Pre President Kennedy's goal was simple in relative, relative terms. Get three guys to the moon and get them back. <laughs> Rotary's goal was a bit more complicated. It involved the immunization of billions of children in every corner of the planet with billions of dollars, millions of volunteers, and the assembly of partnerships and alliances that no one could have imagined when the initial goal was set. Given the imp incredible progress towards eradication, it's a story that does not get the press that it deserves. The remaining pockets of polio are thankfully relatively few and are in places that many of us know a uh, little about, yet the fight continues and will continue until the end. That being said, it's a tremendous story about what can be accomplished when vision, leadership, and unending commitment are put to work on an issue that will benefit all humankind.